What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here. Make sure you subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss any Run Your Race content. What up, everybody? This is your boy Theo Pence here with another episode of Run Your Race with my boy AJ Richardson, who is not here today. He's hand- actually, I don't know what the hell AJ doing today, but he is getting the fine today. But people, we got a special guest here. We got a special guest. And once again, he got to the bag. <laughs> hey, listen, he walked in here with security, top flight <laughs> security of the world, Craig. You heard what Mr. Molly said. We top flight security of the world, Craig. So play the clip. <laughs> hey, listen, the, my man is, he has taken the league by storm. Um, coming back, coming off an injury, right? Yeah. Coming off an injury, uh, still got to the bag. They said, we know you're still good, brother. So mm-hmm. we're going to still give you this paper. Uh, before, the, I mean, I know you, you. he was taking the league by storm, still taking the league by storm. And a member of the Minnesota Timberwolves wearing number 11, we have Nas Reed. Appreciate you having me, bro. No problem, no problem. I appreciate you coming on, brother. And once again, this is going to be, I am very intrigued on this pod, bro. I am very excited about it to hear your story and your race. Um, I think it is something that a lot of guys – Need to hear. A lot of people need to hear because um, we're. I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but you were undrafted. Yeah. And to where you are today, you have grinded all the way through one organization, and you have. You got to the bag, mm-hmm. and you still, and you have another contract that you can get to, yeah. and and uh, another level of play that you can get to. But we we gonna get into we gonna get into all that. But Nas, let's talk about this, brother. Where did it all start for you? Where did it all start for you? Where are you from? Um, mm-hmm. When did you start playing basketball? And how, how, did, uh, how did this all get going for you? So it was, uh, it was a little funny. I'm from Asbury Park, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Uh, football family. Okay. Um, so I can say, know. hey, listen, got a football body. <laughs> <laughs> football family. So uh, it was a little different for me. I mean, I, uh, I think I started playing basketball in about fifth or sixth grade, I would mm-hmm. say. Uh, so I was... So one of my closest friends, his dad was a coach for everything, basketball, football, baseball. Mm-hmm. He was in the studio, you name it. So like, you know, it's, it's, he was definitely like around a lot. So uh, one day I'm coming from school, uh, he just stopped like, you ever play basketball? Like, you ever play bitty basketball? And I'm like, no, like, I'm just <laughs> like, you. I'm just into football. I'm into like, you know, my dad was my coach at, time, at that gotcha. time in football. So I'm, I'm football, football. I'm, I'm going through. to the NFL. Like yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's what that's what's on my mind. So um, um yeah, you ever played basketball before? I'm like, nah. I mind you, I'm taller than everybody in the fourth or fifth grade. I'm about, yeah. about like fourth, fifth grade, I'm about like five, nine ish. Mm-hmm. So like and everybody's still gay high. So um he's like you ever played bitty basketball? I'm like, nah, man. I was, like I I'm, I was gonna tell him like I'm not really interested. Cause yeah. I, like I said before, I'm all NFL. Like I'm going For sure. to the NFL. For sure. So uh uh, he's like, I think you should try it or whatever. Um, and I tried it because it's, again, his his son is my best friend. So okay. I'm like, all right, I'll try it. So the rims are like eight feet, maybe mm-hmm. seven feet. So I'm playing bitty basketball a little bit. I've started to, like, at first I didn't like it. I wasn't really coordinated, things yeah. of that nature. Uh, I'm tall, so I'm trying to dunk, getting rim stuff on seven <laughs> to eight feet rim. So like, I'm just like, uh, I ain't really. So then um, kind of took me, from that point and into the summer where I started kind of playing summer basketball with him mm. around the city a little bit uh, while football wasn't going. So I'm playing summer basketball. I'm just getting into new activities at that point. Yeah, um, just trying new things. Yeah, exactly. So uh, I'm doing that. And then um, I actually kind of fell in love with it because it was just like, as a kid, I'm just excited to, you know, be doing something. Yeah, yeah, like I'm I'm having fun with it. and. Like I said before, I was hauling everybody, so I kind of felt like I had a little bit of power gotcha. in that in that uh, instant. So um, I think from there, I was playing uh, with Short Shots. It's a local uh, Asbury. Let me ask you this right quick. So you said until you were six, you said sixth grade. Yeah. What position did you play up until? Did you play football all the way through? Well, I, from sixth grade to well from. I'll when did you start playing football? Football was like second second grade to second like grade. eighth grade. Okay. No. So in, from second grade to sixth grade, you like, I'm about to be damn near like Dwight Freeman. Yeah. Like, what position I, you play? Well, I play quarterback. So I can see that. Yeah, I, can I was see quarterback. That. I think I've seen a video of you throwing the ball yeah, or something. Probably. Yeah. But I played quarterback in the end. So like, and my dad was at the end. So like, 
Oh, okay. I'm like, this is yeah, what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, like, whether sure. it's quarterback or DM, this is what I'm doing. So, mm-hmm. and then, um, so uh, he, he took me, I was playing with short shots. Mm-hmm. I was playing with them for a little while, but then, like, it got to a point where, like, I kind of got, I want to say, I got better. And um, so he took me from that team and he, I went to another team that he sent me to called KSK, King Street Kings. Okay. Um, to where it was another league. It was, I would say a, a better league, of course. Yeah. Uh, and I went from that league to I went to another league, uh, Sports U. That's where uh, a lot of people that you know that people know about Javon and Luther and mm-hmm. those guys. And we played together since from I think it's maybe like seventh grade to to we almost went to college together. Right. Really? Yeah, but we played our whole AAU career together. I almost went to the same high school. So from that point, I was uh, with Sports U. So were you, so I find it interesting every time we do this do this podcast and we talk about different sports that you grew up playing. What is like, where did you find time to work on your, like did you get better just playing or mm-hmm. did you work on your game? So sixth through like ninth, I was just playing. Like yeah. I'm, I'm playing with, you know, Javon Quinley. I'm doing things he doing. Like, mm-hmm. I'm just want to be a big guard. Like yeah, I just want to be like sure. I want to play all five positions. Like I don't really care what it is. So mm-hmm. I'm, it's no like specific thing that I'm working on, but I'm just working on. You just playing basketball. Yeah, like I'm just you know what I'm yeah. saying like, I'm just playing basketball. I'm just hooping. Mm-hmm. I'm doing the things that they're doing. The guards are doing doing things that bigs. You know what I'm saying I'm just hooping. Like yeah. I don't really have an idea what I'm doing. I'm just having fun with it. Like yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I took it, started taking it serious around ninth, tenth grade, where like I started getting schools and mm-hmm. colleges and things of that nature. Like okay. All right, I could really do something with this. I was, well, I, before then I went to Roosevelt Catholic, where you know had Isaiah Briscoe and Chris Silva, yeah. you know all those guys. Yeah. So I was a freshman, and they had the New Jersey by by storm. So it was just like I'm just here, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I didn't really like, not that I didn't want to do it. It was just more so like I just it just wasn't my time yet. So yeah. like I'm a freshman. I'm just I'm just you know I'm just around. So For but sure. I I never was a like. I never I would try to go play JV, but they were like, no, you know, like we need you up here with uh with the seniors and stuff like that. But it was just like cause I wanted to play. Exactly. So I just I was just trying to, you know, just hoop anyway. It's so it's crazy that you say that because the first thing I think of is like you so you and Javon, y'all have been friends for Yeah, forever. Since forever. Like, yeah, since like seventh grade. And no, no offense, but like he's a shorter guard. Mm-hmm. He works on his handles all the time. All right. Think about if you weren't friends with him, yeah. would you have done that? Like, uh, you like, see what I'm saying? Would yeah. that would you even be Nas Reed that can yeah. put the ball on the floor that handles the ball like a guard right. and you got the ball on the string? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like that little stuff, like there. We don't even we're we're bigger guys at right. that age. Yeah, it was uncommon for us to get the ball off the rim and be able to dribble up and Literally. dribble down the floor. I think that's where I like a lot of my coordination like mm-hmm. came from. Just like Euro stepping, you know, yep. just just all the things that guards do mm-hmm. technically. Uh, I think that's just where, like, I kind of fell in love with playing like that until where, yep. like, you know, where I started taking it serious. Now I'm working out like that. Yeah. So and yeah. then you keep growing. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 the bonus. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's the that's the difference between you and other bigs. You do guard shit so fluid, like you really are a guard. Mm-hmm. Like, I look at you like a no, yeah. You just big. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the crazy part about it is like what happened is so organic and it was mm-hmm. not forced. Like, Literally. You were just going out there playing basketball every day, like you doing in and out crosses to a Euro. Mm-hmm. All right, let me try it. All right. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> all right, now I'm, it's my turn to go. Like yeah. I'm just I'm following suit. Like I'm just that's following just so, suit. Like, I really that that you said that, like I really don't I really couldn't imagine what I would be doing like basketball wise if it was like not having you know, those guys around and doing the things that they were doing. And then the the toughness piece of being in a football family. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because that having that toughness piece of, all right, I get knocked down. All right, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna keep going. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not worried about what the hell happened on this play or mm-hmm. what happened there because I grew up around people who Yeah, like they this is what we do. Like, this is what we do. Contact is yes, like that's this what we do. Nothing. So like yeah. And, and, and as long as I've seen you play, you don't like playing without if you don't have no contact, you're gonna yeah. try to find like a I'm, way to create some yeah, damn contact. Yeah. And just just that little piece of 
up to so did you play in high school football? I did. Oh no, football. No, we didn't have my so I went to Roosevelt Catholic. We didn't have a football team. Oh, okay. I wanted, so you stopped. Yeah. At what age? I, uh so my freshman year, like that's what kind of I was like, I you need had to, to play decision. JV, like it's cause it's like I'm not doing anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have no football team. I'm not playing see, I'm not playing Got with you. the varsity. Got you. So I like, I'm like, at least cause I gotta go do something. Like how hard was that conversation with your dad? Like it wasn't that hard only because he wanted what was best for me. Like he didn't want like for sure me to be like exactly like him. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So it was more so just like as long as you're doing something, I'm not mad. You know what I'm for saying? Sure. Like I just wanted to play football because that's was what I knew. Uh -huh. from my brother, my 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 dad, my uncle, cousin, like everybody played so football. So what made you pick basketball? I mean, I just got more comfortable with it. Like I just got you. it was something that I was doing more frequently than playing football. Got you. From, okay. In that time frame. So like, you know, with AAU it's like winter and summer or like Yeah. So it's like it's no it's every it's more weekend. Time consuming. Yeah. So because, it's every you know, weekend. once we go A once school ball over, hey, you hey, right, right after that. Yeah, exactly. So, so you was, really don't have time for mm -hmm. football. Yeah. At that, at that, I, that makes a lot of sense. But like in my my freshman year, I was just like, dang, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just like, all right, well, I'm going to just stick it through. Like, you know, yeah. let's see where it takes me. For sure. So once you get to, um, when do you start? So after your fre freshman year, you start taking it a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. I'm gonna I'm hone in on this basketball right. shit and yeah. really, really get to it. What was a um, wake up call for you mm -hmm. in high school that was like, okay, I really need to get better at this if um, I wanna make it to this level? I mean, shit, you, you, you spoke about it a little bit with having Isaiah Briscoe and yeah. those guys in front of you. Yeah. Like, okay, if I wanna be those guys, I gotta get better. All right. So I would say, like, it's a little quick story with, like, so like like I told you before, like I played with the same teammates and the same coach in AAU for my whole career from seventh grade. When I started taking this a little bit serious in seventh grade to my senior year in high school. So like the knock on me with college coaches were like, uh, I think it was more so like I didn't have a motor in like my attitude, I would say. Mm. And again, uh, I, I would say attitude just because like, I was mean just from, that's just how I looked. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you didn't know me, that's just how I looked. For so, sure. For but sure. like, my motor was because I didn't really like, I didn't take it serious because I just, it was something to do at the time. You, you know what I'm saying? just playing basketball. Bro. Yeah, so uh, I had my coach, we were in, um, I forget which store we were in, but we were in Atlanta. We went, to, we went to a store and like, I guess like I didn't play well one of these AAU games and then like he was telling me like, you know, college coaches are really looking at you like, you got some serious interests, like you really need to like basically tighten up, like, you know what I'm saying? Like if you, I think you can really do something with it, take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like he's like, schools don't really want to talk to you right now because of, you know, your 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 attitude and your motor and like mm -hmm. you, you know, this is I'm in ninth, tenth grade. So like I'm yeah. just like at the time I'm like, all right, I guess like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like <laughs> sure. not really not being hard headed, but at the same at the same time it was more so just like, I mean, I hear you. But it's like, but are they really? Yeah, like I don't really know. Like I, we're not allowed to talk to call it college coaches. So exactly. I don't know if it's just like, for, to, for me to play better, or is this like for real? But are like, are you giving me a motivational speech? Yeah, like, or is this really a? Do I really have an opportunity right. to take this to the new level? So like, at that point, I'm like, all right, all right, I'm gonna just lock in and buckle down. So from that point on, it was just more like a, a adjustment. I needed to change, you know, my how I how I went about. The, the basketball every day, um, just, just basically, I guess, kind of, kind of find myself yeah. within basketball, and that's when, like, I think around my tenth grade is where like everything started to open up for me. Because at that time, you know, now I'm going into the high school season. Isaiah's, all those guys graduated. Yeah. Now I'm kind of becoming the guy. The guy, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So like, at the that point, now. yeah, like at that point, it's like, like I had a senior named Matt Bullock. He was ahead of me. But it, but other than that, it was kind of you know the keys were kind of turning into yeah. to my hands. So it was like, all right, what am I gonna do with it? Mm -hmm. And that's I think that's kind of what like really started it for me. Got you. That's big time. So was there a was there a moment in your high school career, maybe that tenth grade year when you got the keys handed to you, and sometimes just that can yeah. the light bulb can just right. go off. But like, was there a moment because I gave a story when, when I was in um, high school, there was like a situation where it's kind of bougie, but not bougie, but 
I didn't make a USA team. I mm -hmm. made the first one, but I didn't make the second one. I just thought I would make it because right. I made the first one. Right. Was there is was there a certain moment where, like, where you just gave that story? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, when did you realize I I'm nice, like I'm really good at this game, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this to the mm -hmm. league. Because at, at high school players, listen, bro, we some damn yeah. We got everything we want at that point because everybody wants to be a part of it. Right. Everybody wants to you to come to their college. You're here. You're the best thing since the, right. since a slice of bread. Like, mm -hmm. I think like, um, I think like when I got to high school, I got my like first UConn offer. Like, mm -hmm. and I think that was like two years after they won the chip. So like, well, that was, was big to me because I. Maybe I don't remember, but I think I was maybe in tenth grade. Like all this kind of happened around tenth grade. All in tenth grade, okay. and I was I was geeked because like you know Marvin Bagley, he was number one player in our yeah. class. Like yeah. he just got the offer. I'm like, all right, bet. Like yeah. you feel me? So I'm I'm lit. Like I'm like that's that's what's gonna Who's be. Who's the coach at that time? I Kevin don't remember. There? I I believe so. I don't remember though. Uh -huh. But um, what year was this? You like, graduated. You, I was you went to high school. You went to college in what year? 2018. 2018. So that would have been 20, uh, like 16. 16, 15, somewhere like that. So it was maybe like two years after they won, I think. Yeah. And I know, like, no maybe way they a year fired or two. Ollie that quick. Yeah, no, nah, it was, it was years, a few years after, and mm -hmm. they were number one, like, mm -hmm. they were number one team in the country at that time. So I remember mm -hmm. that for, like, vividly because, like, again, like I just told you, Mar me and Marvin used to go at it in high yeah. school yeah. And, uh, and in the grade school. We used to go at it. So like when he got it, we were top two players in our in our class yeah. ranking wise. So when he got it, I'm like, all right, like yes. that's kind of when like <laughs> I'm like, all right, like then it became like, all right, I need to make McDonald's. Like that was the next thing, like mm -hmm. in the, all the All Star brand, uh, games and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What what was your highest rank? I What'd think you my two. You got the number two. Yeah, I was right behind and Marvin. Him. Marvin was yeah. number one. He was always number one in our class. Like never was number two. Never. Like I think he was. That had to piss you to. Oh. Yeah, like that was, like that <laughs> was literally the you. game. Like every time, like if you go on YouTube, like uh, there's a, a ton oh, of games. We played the clip. Don't yeah, worry, we will play the clip. A ton of uh, like clips of like just eighth grade, seventh grade, high school. Like we just used to always go at it, and like uh, he'll tell you, like we, it, it just brought the best out of each each one sure. of us for sure. For so sure. that's crazy. Yeah, you never like, got the upper hand. No, like it would be games where we got like. We've got it in. I got the upper hand. He got the upper hand. But the ranking wise, like he was always was number always one. Like there. he was always number one. Like oh, he was the guy that, like, all right, I gotta like, this is what I'm trying to get in front of. So that's a tough one. Yeah, that's a tough. One. He was, he was, he was the goods. I, I, I'm, I'm bro, that motherfucker got one of the craziest second jumps I ever. Yeah, seen, like, bro. and he's doing that in seventh, it, eighth bro, grade, at like, young age, bro. I'm like, bro, like, shit made no sense. At, at who's your, who's the top ten in your class? You, Marv, me, Marv. I think like R.J. Barrett, okay. Lewis King, Manuel Quickly, Darius Garland, Darius Baisley. Okay. Uh, it was our a few guys who jumped in and out, but like Zion, out out. Cam. Oh, yeah. shit. Zion and Cam Reddish. Zion would have changed some shit. Yeah. He came in, he changed it <laughs> big time. <laughs> he came in and changed Zion it. Zion would have changed some shit. Yeah, he but came in changed. we had some bigs. We had yeah. some bigs. We would have been all right. We, we, had a, we had a good class too, but. Y'all, shit, y'all yeah. had a class. Yeah. Like a Damn. Lot of, like a lot of, yeah. And I say like, even to this day, I Where say- Where did Zion come from? Like, like senior year, junior year, he came out of nowhere. <laughs> like, that, out of nowhere. Like That's nuts. But like, to this day, like, I think like, the best player in that class was Cam Reddish. Like, hands down. Yo, talk about that for a second. Bro, that has been a talk- yeah. Well known thing around yeah. the league and around uh social media that people in your class have said that. Yeah, like what was so different? Just the way he scored the ball. Like he was, it was so too pure. Easy. Like it was just like I'm a bucket. Like that's just what it was. Like you So why was he why would they not give him the I don't know, like, you know, I don't know, like they probably they they said something about his motor too. I don't I don't really like I don't really know too much, but like I just know like like if you ask anybody in that class, like even class under, like because they watching us, obviously, yeah. like they will tell you, like Cam was, he was him. So. There's a video of Ant talking about it. Yeah, and like, like Cam Reddish is that dude. Like he's a bucket. Like, yeah. so I don't, I don't know. Shit, 
That's nuts. So how did you handle um how did you handle the recruitment? How was that for you? Mm. As far as like when you first started getting recruited, um, what was your dream school to start off with? Uh so like for some reason I I, it's, and it's because of color. I think just because of the, the baby blue, but I always wanted to go to North Carolina. Like, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> like uh, Say it again, man. Yeah, I so like, it, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... Come on, man. I'm like sixth grade. I'm going to North Carolina. Like, hey, Duds, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. I'm not telling nobody to say this shit. <laughs> Everybody wanted to be a Tar Heel, B. Yeah, Come word, on, bro. I, I was... That's stuff that's... For some reason, I think it's because of like just the baby blue color. You like wanted I was, to win, bro. You <laughs> wanted to win. You wanted a chip. Understandably so. I, of course, I want that. <laughs> but like, um, yeah, like since I started, I'm like, I'm going to North Carolina. That's just what it was. Like it's I don't tough. know. But um, wait a minute, I was in college, 2016. You would have got a chip if you joined us. <laughs> you f***ed around. He didn't want a chip. Yeah. I know, like, and I would say in high school, though, like, I, no, not high school, grade school, like, middle school, like, all I used to watch was Theo Fence and Harry Giles, uh, YouTube, I'm going to talk about YouTube, uh, like, yeah, yeah. Theo Fence and Harry Giles every day, Theo Fence <laughs> I swear, I kid you not, hey, so, like. You, the, now that you think about it, first of all, you had the physical, I was skinny as shit yeah. in high school. But you and Harry, very I similar. I wanted to be, like, Harry bad. Very like, I wanted to similar, be like Harry bro. Bad. Like, like Y'all have very similar games and like y'all both have that dog mentality. And that's what people don't really understand about Harry either. He yeah. had that dog in him, yeah. bro. He had that dog. And y'all, y'all very similar as far as handling the ball, making mm -hmm. plays. That's exactly why. Like, like I'm that. like, bro, he do like that makes a lot of like, sense. I'm like, bro, I like I got to. Like, yeah. that's just who it was. And then it went from him to the Demarcus Cousins, then Joel and B and yeah. the list goes on. But it's like, like that. it's a big guy who do unnormal things, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like Mm -hmm. So that's just what it was. And that's for me. the thing, bro. Like, we came into the league at a perfect time. Yeah. That shit separates you. Yeah. That literally. shit separates yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, your value goes up. Yeah, big time. And now, it's shit, just being your value space is. Floor. What? Yeah. Your value is going up drastically yeah. now. With you being able to shoot the ball, put the ball on the floor, make mm -hmm. plays. Y'all, you with Minnesota, y'all fucking running pick and rolls with yeah. you and Rudy. Yeah, like, and it's like, crazy thing is, it's like, it's not, we don't have a play. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just in the flow. It's just flow. Like, it's just yeah, in the like, flow. And, and you, you're you comfortable in it because yeah. you've done it before. Yeah, you know a hundred times. That's so tough. it's like, we're going to get into that shit. That yeah. shit don't make no damn sense. That shit don't make no damn sense. And it's like, not even by design. Like, literally, like, I can do it as well. I mean, like, I, I remember playing the Spurs. I came off a pin down, and, and Kat said a pin down for me. Like, you bro, know what I'm saying? It's just like, bro, I'm on the bus. And we're watching a clip. You're going off away. They ran away for you. Yeah. I said, what type of shit is going on right now? They're running away for a 6'11 big. Yeah. This is some bullshit. But that, hey, listen, y'all, we're we gonna get into y'all Minnesota team a little bit later. Mm -hmm. But once we get into this, getting into the recruitment, did you play UIBL? No, I didn't. I played on the Under Armour Circuit. I you fed up now. Yeah, I did. What are you doing, bro? I, I ain't gonna lie, like. I was to the point where for me, like loyalty was big at that time. And I like I wasn't with my parents every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like when I was with Javon, like those were my like those were I was guys. with them every day. Like mm -hmm. I was with their parents. I was with I was up there with them. So like yeah. we are the team that we had stayed together for from seventh grade mm -hmm. to senior year. Like we stayed together, we were together, like we were together forever. Like the yeah. same team, the same coach. Like I my, I knew him. Like his my my parents knew that I was comfortable with. His parents and him, like I was sleeping over his house every day. Yeah, that's like, that's low, that's the most important thing. Yeah, man. like especially at that age, bro. Yeah, like, like you know, I I got a little girl. I ain't letting my little girl go right, to just anybody. Right, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Who you trust? Mm -hmm. Loyalty is a big thing. Yeah. yeah so like I was, you must have a lot of gear though. Yeah, like I, I, I did, I did. <laughs> and then like a lot of stuff was just like there was it was wars where like he was wanting us to come Nike. Me and Javon at the same time we were. Like it was, they were kind of like trying to package us on the same team to yeah. go Nike. It was just like, but that's what I was wondering because there was a time where, if y'all together, if y'all were together, Nike did things where like, okay, let's take this team and bring mm -hmm. them to Nike. Yeah. So I, I was wondering like, why we were just, that didn't happen? 
Like, like nah. my coach, and also like my coach, like he was like, like uh, he was uh, yeah, UA. like he just, we were, I, we got loyalty from him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like he's with this is who he's with, and you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And that's who we with. He's like, still with him. Nah, he he after my Arthur uh y'all team was our team he, he he retired, but like again, like that just goes to show the loyalty on him. Like he sure. they was literally he brought us from seventh grade to senior year. So like that's tough. It was just a loyalty thing at that point. Like For I've sure. done, like I've played in Fab 48 with players, uh Nike team. Mm -hmm. I've done some Nike things, but like my roots were, were with there. UA. Yeah. Got you. Got you. What was um 10th grade recruitment took off. What was the biggest thing for you in getting recruited? I think a lot. I don't ask that enough. What was something you were looking for as far as recruiting uh, when you were um, in high school? Obviously, obviously, everybody looks for this, but honesty. Uh, and then, like, I wanted the situation that I was going in to be, I wouldn't say around me, but, like, where I knew, like, the the coach wasn't bigger than the university for one, so where like he had to say so. Yeah, because then a lot of guys where it's like, oh, he'll tell the coach will tell you this, but this the school's gonna agree with whatever the coach has to say because the coach like I'm not, Calipari for instance, like yeah. he's bigger than Kentucky, so mm. I just wanted to go to a situation where I knew like I was gonna be broadcast or. Whatever they call it, uh, you know, not promoted, but you were like, the guy. Yeah, like basically. So I went into a situation where at LSU I wasn't the guy, but I was cool with being one of the guys. You know, yes. Tremont was there. He had I would give that to him. He was there first. So he had that, you know. Mm -hmm. So I kinda he had wanted, the keys. Yeah. So I went into a situation where like if it wasn't him, it was me. Yes. And then so forth and so on. So I wanted to you know, kind of be in that situation. Mm -hmm. I think that kinda helped me. Gotcha. It was gonna help me grow. Uh what was your final five? My final five was LSU, Kentucky, Arizona, Seton Hall, and Louisville. Got you. Yeah. You didn't get recruited by Carolina? Uh, I think I did, but it was like towards like I already had my. You already had your five. Yeah, like I was already kind of situated on what I was going to do. We would have been nice as hell. Yeah. We would have been cold. I was going to, so I was, I was thinking about Kentucky, but like. They already had Nick Richards, PJ Washington. It was just like, yeah, it was just gonna be. And then I had Javon, and uh, I was at Arizona because Javon. We had talked about going there together. Javon or going to uh, Villanova. Villanova. Yeah. yeah, but he had that situation. Yeah. But like, I, I just wanted to, you know, what I'm saying like, be with mm. people that I, I knew for sure. Excuse me, but I, at the same time, it was like time for me to grow as a, as an individual myself. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and that that that's. That's just pure honesty right there. Like, yeah. with me, could I have went somewhere and been the guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I looked at it as like, if we win, it's going to take care of itself. Right. You see what I'm saying? But do is there sometimes I wish I went somewhere where I could just go get get off? Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, everybody has their different ways of looking at it. But what made you, LSU, you Jeez. basically just, the coach said, listen, if you're not the guy, you're gonna be, you would a point yeah. guard anyway. Yeah, it's not somebody in your position. Yeah, but then like, like when I went just went on my visits, like I just felt like I was home, like away from home. Like yeah, the that's you huge. know the hospitality in down south is already what it is. Like that's just one. You ain't good. Yeah. <laughs> then it's like <laughs> you ain't good. I tell you that. I felt like when I was there, like I didn't have no, I didn't have any worries. Like I was mm -hmm. just. I could be me and you know, it is what it is, like for sure. For sure. That's tough. So once you get to uh well, before we get to LSU, talk about that moment when you found out you're a McDonald's All American. Yeah. You've been working your whole high school career. Yeah. You fucking said, damn it with the football. I mm -hmm. want to be a McDonald's All American. And you make it. Talk about that moment for you and your family. That was huge because it was like that was like the main thing for me, like, mm -hmm. like Jordan Brand and all that. Up, yeah, like Jordan Brand and all that was cool, but like I wanted to be like, yes. Excuse me. Good. I wanted to be McDonald's All American, like. So like when I got like that, that that a call or whatever from my AAU coach, like mm -hmm. especially coming from him, like you know what I'm yeah. saying, like we talk about that stuff. Yeah. Like, all right, this is what the goal is. You want to set, 
this is what, you know, milestones or whatever the case may be. Like, I'm like telling him, like, this is what I want to do. I'm like telling him this, like, 10th grade, like, we had that, that conversation. So, mm-hmm. like, he's telling me, like, you made it. Uh, how do you feel? I'm, I mean, like, actually, yeah, what was crazy is I was coming from, I think I was coming from, like, Spanish going to, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm coming from Spanish going oh, to you like. You remember this? Baby, yeah, baby. like I'm going to like, <laughs> I think maybe like math or like religion or something like yeah. that. Like I'm, I'm going into the bathroom to answer the phone call. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So tell me that I'm like, I'm in school. Like, I don't, I'm not even about to go to class. Yeah. Like, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm geeked right now. Yeah, like for sure. And then they uh set it on the uh, intercom at the school and you know it was it was just lit because it was just like I had all my friends there and mm-hmm. things of that nature. So it was definitely lit, definitely a vibe. And I got the text from my mom and all that stuff. So it was definitely cool. For sure. That's tough, bro. I I just know like I remember did they do the uh did they do the show? Yeah. Yep, did, yep. End up doing the show the later mm-hmm. that night. Yeah. Bro. Just sitting in the living room with your folks and yeah, it was just like seeing it happen. I'm like, dang, bro, yeah. like you really all those camps, mm-hmm. tournaments, all of it came was just worth it for that yeah. moment right there. And you see it every year and then it happens. It's it's an amazing feeling. Yeah. But shit, then the real life shit comes. Yeah. LSU. What was your welcome to college moment? I don't really know if I like. I don't really think if I, I really had a welcome to college moment. Like, you never throw up or nothing during conditioning or some shit? No, nah, like, I always thought, like, I was built for it. Like, that's just how I See, thought. That, like, yeah. like, that's, yeah, like, like going into that situation. Hustle. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm built for, like, mm-hmm. whatever. Like, I was, it, was a, it was a mindset thing to where, like, I used to be able to tell myself, like, all right, if you can do whatever you just did, that, you just got to do the same thing. I just, it's another obstacle. Like, I used to tell myself, like, it's really just another obstacle. Like, it's you'll be all right. Mindset. Like, it, it is what it is. Like. So it was like, for me, it was just like, I think the most challenging thing was just like not winning the NCAA tournament when I think we had a team and opportunity to do it. I think that was the most challenging thing. I think like we lost to Michigan State, uh, I think maybe Elite Eight, mm-hmm. I think. But like we didn't have, we didn't have Javante, who was a key piece. We didn't have um, our head coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah so like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I just yeah. think like, not being able to, I think we could have did something special with that team. Like that was a a good, a great team, like, mm-hmm. a great team, like in LSU's history. So I think we could do something special. What was they? Was there a game that uh, gave you the confidence and gave you the spark? Like, oh yeah, like clearly you had the dog right. mentality. But what was the game like? Oh yeah, I think I could really do this against Florida, uh, the SEC tournament. We lost that game, but that game might have been like. Play the clip. That game might have been Definitely like got clips. <laughs> yeah, like that game might have been like the craziest game I've played. Like I'm hitting all types of threes, uh-huh. put back dunks, my own put back. Like I think that's when I like really like yeah. You know, which is crazy because it's towards the end of the year. Yeah, but it's like I'm like all right. But you know, you know the thing is, bro. Like, and not say Dante Divincenzo didn't have a good year before, but mm-hmm. you remember? Yeah, he went yeah. crazy yeah. in the tournament. Yeah, and then next thing you know. He right, drafted. exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that could be, I, I see where you're coming from yeah. in that. Like, you was like, oh, yeah, I did this. I'm gone. Yeah, like, I'm so like. So did you know you was gone right after yeah, that? Yeah, like, <laughs> I was like, I think it was like, I think I had like 26 and like 15 or something like that, 14. Like, yeah. I'm just out there hooping. Like, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going. Like, yes. <laughs> I, I'm like, I love I'm, the honesty, I'm like, man. I'm going. Like, that's, sure. that's just what it is. Like, yeah. I'm stamping that. Like, I'm going. Hey, coach, right after the game, uh-huh. we lost. Guess yeah. what? <laughs> you lost me too. <laughs> I'm out this moment. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. That's, that's, <laughs> when we lost to Michigan State, that's what happened. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, I ain't even go back to school. Like, yeah. Hey, my listen. stuff was already packed. Like, I'm like, this is what I'm doing. Bags was packed. Yeah. Hey, coach. I was here for the Elite Eight. My bags was packed after the uh, Florida game that I had. I got a uh, teammate, Darius Days. Like, he'll tell you, like, he helped me pack my room. Like, before we even get to the uh, March Madness, like, I swear to God, like, he helped me pack my room. Like, he, like, <laughs> it was hey, that crazy. That is hilarious, yeah, like, bro. He, that's, that like, my hilarious. best friend. Like, one of my best friends, like, he'll tell you, like, he helped me pack the room. Like, he already he, know he what time like, hey, you going, you going like, that, <laughs> Hey, listen, hey, you have no reason to come yeah. back to this damn school. 
Yeah, that's so tough, that was bro. crazy. That's tough. That so that means you were the 16, 17 year, right? Uh 17, 18 year. No, so, 18, 19 year. 18, 19. Why am I my years off up right now? Yeah, it was 18, 19. So y'all made it to the Elite Eight, lost to Michigan State. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's a tough one. What you call it? it was frying us. Uh Cassius. Cassius Winston was killing us. Well, no. He was killing us as a team, but him and Tremont was going at going it. Going at it. Yeah, Tremont had 30, I think, too. I think they were going at it. Like, as a team, though, he was killing us. But you like, didn't do your part, did you? Nah, I think I had like 10 and 10. Your shit was packed. That's yeah. why. Yeah. <laughs> you I had packed like your shit up. 10. Yeah. You packed your yeah, game probably. up, Probably. Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah, I, mean, I think I had like 10 rebounds, <laughs> 10 points. That's it. Like, you was checked out, bro. Yeah. You was checked out. If you just left the shit unpacked a probably, little bit longer, yeah. y'all might have got probably. a little further. It's all good. Look, your coach going to look at this shit like, God. <laughs> Yeah. Nah, he already knew what time it was yeah. too. Like he knew, like I, like it was no sugar coating. Like it was that's what it was. Hey, like, listen, respect. Like yeah. it, whether we won or we like, I was like that's what it was. He knew, like what he knew what it was when we were going into it. So like for sure, for sure, that was the goal for sure. So you have a good year, at LSU. You go into the uh, the draft process. Talk about that. How many workouts you do? I think like I think I had like. Like 16 scheduled, but I only did like maybe like 10 or 11 because I got hurt oh, in, in okay. the process too. So mm-hmm. like they only did like 10, maybe 11. Would you hurt? I had my well, my ankle. Oh, like, shit. it was pretty bad, but yeah. like I swollen. It was just like I, I couldn't continue. You feel me? Yeah. So like it was just one of those like all right, like whatever happens happens kind mm-hmm. of thing. Like well for me like obviously I still had that. I'm like, all right, I'm still confident about it, but yeah. like, you know, I couldn't finish what I started, so that mm-hmm. was like the toughest thing for me. For sure. What was that? What was your, what was your thought process when when I know at the time you're probably pissed? Yeah, I think so. I'm, I I remember something pretty vividly. Like I was in the seven sixers workout mm-hmm. and like went up for I think a block maybe, just rolled it bad. Like at first I'm like it's over like. But then I'm like, I didn't put too much work in, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, I put too much work in. There's mm-hmm. no way, like, I'm going to just roll over. Like, not even, I'm not even thinking about undrafted at this point. I'm just like, I probably dropped, like, you know, a little bit. Yeah. Because I'm hurting, like, teams are like, we need, we want to reschedule workout with him. So far and so on. It was just like, I couldn't do anything, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like, so. Was, I wouldn't be my best. Yeah, like, I couldn't even walk. So I'm like. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I can't, I can't do anything, like, so, like. So you think that hurt you? Um, a little, a little bit, but not to the point where because these are teams that are trying to re- like reschedule workouts with me, mm. like by myself and stuff. So I would say a little bit, but mm. um, I'm I don't know. I mean, that's kind of really hard to tell. It's hard to tell for sure, especially now. Yeah, you you never know what these motherfuckers. Yeah. Do, so, so I mean, talk about draft night for you. Talk about draft night. Um, um for me, no, it like didn't go the way you wanted to, but. Talk about it, the the experience. Um, I didn't really have like a draft party or anything. So at this time, like I wasn't really like like believe it or not, I just kind of really like started relax not relaxing, but like I wasn't I wasn't I was I was uptight back then. Like I wasn't really like trying to watch the draft. I was just like if it happens, it happens. It, like I didn't really have a draft party or anything mm-hmm. like that. It was just like one of those like I don't wanna I don't wanna jinx it. Like I don't wanna Yeah. Like, so like I was just very superstitious and things of that nature. So it was just like I didn't even watch it. Like it was on, but I had my family, like my my immediate family, but it wasn't like nothing crazy. Yeah, like a huge party. Yeah. yeah so like it. I'm like, it gets to like so I was told I was maybe gonna get picked at twenty six maybe or something like that. It didn't happen. Then it was like thirty three. Then that didn't happen. I just kinda turned the draft off. I'm mm-hmm. like, I don't even like I don't I don't I'm not saying that it's not going to happen, but I now it's just like at this point I'm like all right, I'm trying to get my mental ready to grind my way. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to take another step, like another exactly. route. Mm-hmm. So like, if it, it wasn't gonna be first round, then I'm gonna have to take another route regardless. So like, I'm just like getting my mental ready for that mm-hmm. at that point. So um, then uh, I get the the draft is over, or whatever the case may be. I, as soon as the draft is over, I get a call from Minnesota. Oh, I was Minnesota, Brooklyn. Maybe OKC, I think it was. Mm-hmm. Dallas, maybe. I don't One of those two. Or maybe both, actually. But I went with Minnesota because it was the first call I got. And then it was just like, 
I think I think all the deals were the same. Uh, yeah. I, and I think it was just the first call I got, so I'm like, I guess it's the, the most the most interested team in me because it was the first call I got. Yeah, like as soon as the draft was over, that was the first call they, I got. They, they right, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it was the same thing because before the draft even ended, BK was like, "Yeah, we want you here." So right. Like, right. Yeah. Exactly. So it was just like, "All right, bet that's what I'm gonna do." Got you. Got you. That's tough, bro. I mean, just to go from you having okay, you might be here, you might be here, and understanding yeah. and for it's a blessing also. Like understanding is you can flip that switch of like, okay, mm -hmm. I know I just got to grind a little bit harder yeah. now. I'm just going to, I know, all right, now I'm not going to go and draft it. All right. Who gives a f all right. I'm going to just, I'm going to get to where I want to get to because I have that mentality and I yeah. know I can play at this level. Shout out to Price Picks, the presenting partner of Run Your Race, the daily fantasy sports game. Head over to prizepicks.com or the app. Prize Picks makes it super easy, and it takes less than 60 seconds to make your entry. As AJ said, it's very easy. You pick between two to six players. It's a skill-based fantasy game. You don't play against anyone. You're playing against the Prize Picks projections. It's simple. It's either more or less. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports game that has injury insurance. With Prize Picks injury insurance, if one of your players get injured, your entry still stays in play. You can make up to 25 times your money this football season. Y'all know me. I rock with my Dallas Cowboys all year. And you already know we locked in on the NFL season. But Price Picks also offers college football and many other sports. But Price Picks also is matching your first $100 deposit. So if you put in $100, they match $100. But if you put in $20, they match $20. Go to pricepicks.com slash race and use code race for your first deposit match up to $100. So once you get to Minnesota, what, what's next for you? Like, what, what is your approach when you get there? I'm showing out. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm showing out. Like, yeah. that's just what it is. Like, I go in a summer league, killing, killing. Like, that summer league's not even over. They offer me another deal, four years, six million. I'm like, all right, bet. That's a step in the right direction. But obviously, it's not where I want to be, but mm -hmm. it's a step. So summer league, I got through that. Now I'm going into this the, the beginning of the season or whatever. We we're, we're not we're not we didn't have a, a good good beginning of the season. Oh no, I'm lying. My rookie year, so um I didn't play in the G as much as people think. For mm -hmm. for some reason it was only like maybe ten games yeah. at most. But I was mostly up up with the uh with with the wolves or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um so we we started off hot. It was one ten games and you know, we was like ten and three maybe. Yeah. But after that it was just I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know what happened, bro. Like we had a good team too. Like we, I don't know what happened. It just what, what team was that? So it was um, Cat, Jeff T. Like we had a pretty decent team. It was Jeff was that T. With Jimmy? Nah, that was no, that was year right after. Year right after. Yeah. Jimmy. So it was the same. It was just without Jimmy. Without. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm just like, I'm just there now. I'm working out every day. Da da da. So. Uh, like I said, we had a good beginning of the year, and the next thing you know, we just went left. Next thing you know, I'm playing like out of nowhere. I'm cat. Oh no, no, no! Cat gets hurt. Cat gets hurt. Okay. Now I'm I'm in the rotation coming off the bench, and now I'm like, I ain't got nothing to lose. Like nothing. Nathaniel to lose. <laughs> like you feel me? I'm going out there doing me. Like I wasn't like automatically all hands and just that the third, but mm. I played my part. Ping and roll, rolling. I was a five at that yeah. point. So I'm doing, you know, things of that nature. I'm doing five work, rebounding, but I'm still spacing the floor a little bit, shooting a little bit. So uh, we get to like game 40. Now I'm starting. Like, uh -oh. it just, like, like, from summer league to game 40, like, it was just like all over the place, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm 10 games G. Uh, I'm now I'm putting back up. Now I'm starting, and I'm still a rookie. Like, I'm yeah. still like, trying to process everything at the same time. Yeah. So like I had uh my vets were Gorgie and Cov, Rob Coverton. Yeah. And they just like they teaching me through the ropes, trying to get me through it. Like as I'm as I'm going through the, the season, they're, they're teaching, rookie wall, really. Yeah, like they like, all right, so just, you gotta keep maintaining this. You one game not enough. You need to keep doing this down the third. So like mm -hmm. and then they're teaching me off the court real life stuff as well. So like For sure. I'm really learning the all around game from these two. And then like they trade them or whatever. 
But now it's really just like, mm. all right, back to square one. Yeah. And then we get uh, James Johnson. Mm. I think like he was really like, he was probably like, I want to say like, Gorgie and Cove wasn't the best for me, but like he, I kind of really, really like grasped towards him. Like mm -hmm. his like, just like the way he went about everyday life, just the way like, and the one thing he told me was just like, whatever it is, the situation is be you. Like whatever consequences you got to deal with, whatever uh, uh, appraisals you got to deal with, so forth and so on, just be you. Like at the end of the day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to change and be this guy and this guy. Now everybody got too many different pains and of you of and and thoughts of you really. like yeah and it's not exactly mm -hmm. so it's like just be you like always be you so like that's he's a person that i've I remember one time uh like we had houston we in houston whatever and he take me and jalen the well shopping mm -hmm. or he we go with him shop we not we're not thinking like you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. i'm about to go spend a little thousand dollars that's yeah, it yeah, though that's like it. you feel me at most like yeah. i'm gonna get some dior <laughs> shoes or whatever so um i pick we had the webster I pick out a pair of Dior, I'm about to pay for him. He like, don't ever take out your wallet when I'm around you. I'm like, what you mean? Like, so you less. He like, I'm like, <laughs> at first, I'm like, what you mean? Like, I ain't want to overstep. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, what you sure. mean? He's like, go, go go pick out whatever you want. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right. So I come back and I got like, maybe another thousand. He like, that's it. I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you want to grab the whole store? I'm like, bro. So like, <laughs> we we end up leaving like. Bro, I swear it's like 30 bands, 40 bands, like just between all three of us. Like, it's just crazy because it's like, I I, don't, I I know you, but I don't even know you like that. You know what I'm saying? I, you know me, I come from loyalty. So I'm like, man, like, James Johnson, you a real one. Yeah, dude. like, so like, ever yes. since every time I see him, it's like really all love. Like, yeah, that's probably for like, sure, bro. Like, yeah. he has no reason to do that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. He don't even know me like that. Like, there's I'm no just some young. I'm to him. I'm young. At that time, I'm just a young a rookie. I'm coming in. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like, yeah, that was that was definitely like someone that I like. Part really of it, can, he can he probably saw the hunger in what you were struggling. Possibly, to be. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. when you, especially now as you're on your five, you're six. Mm -hmm. When you see somebody that young that like wants to be yeah. great, wants that. You want to just help him. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You got my young buck, Wendell Moore. That's how I am with him. Like, you know him what I'm and saying? Josh, like, like, I'm like he consistently telling them, like, yeah, so. And yo. the part, and the crazy part is, bro, they just, we were right there with, you don't even see it yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, why are they fing with me? Yeah. Exactly. And like, it's a part of the pro yeah. Everybody go. It's, a, it's crazy because it's like the world really, like, uh, it's like a evolving like yeah. circle, like it's, it's circle. just it it's circle. just every, it's the same different people. It's the same mm -hmm. like it's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I think about stuff like that. Like it's just like damn, that's just really crazy. Like it's tough, bro. It's tough. I mean, I'm just sitting here like, and you have a situation where you didn't want it to happen that way, but cat got hurt. And yeah, you know what I'm saying. I kind of just. I made sure that I made the best of the situation that I was presented with. Like, and you're not looking back. At all. Like, and that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Like, you're not supposed to, You get that opportunity, I'm not looking back. Yeah, sure. like. Like, I don't, I'm not going back to not playing. Yeah. You see like, what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's huge on your part. Nah, so who's the first person to bust your ass? Porzingis. 40. And this, this is all rookie year. Like, I'm getting it from, oh, Porzingis, Sabonis. Like, I remember Play one time, like, the bonus, uh, he's the with bonus the Pacers. is a cheat code, especially yeah, for a like, rookie, bro. Yeah, he's in the, he's with the Pacers at the time, and like, I didn't think picking on players was real. Like, teams run the same <laughs> play. That shit real, bro. Like, they run the same play. Same play. Put him in the post like four they different times. Wedge. I don't even remember. Maybe it was. I don't remember. I don't. At that time, I'm I'm a rookie, so I don't yeah. really know the plays. Yeah. But like I, from that time, but the same play, right block, right block. Get him to his left shoulder. You go baseline, left shoulder. I mean, right shoulder, hook shot, whatever the case may be. So I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, like this is the same play. Like they like telling me it's the same play. I'm like, I hear you. I know it's the yeah. same play. Like, <laughs> like, I can't, I can't do nothing right about this. <laughs> like, so that was that moment. And then Przingis was just like shooting from the logo. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, this was when he was with Dallas. Dallas shooting from the logo. I'm like, forty ball. Yeah, I'm like, bro, like, coach looking at me like, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm like. You shouldn't be throwing your hands up. Like, what do you want me to? He do? like he basically saying like that's the Porzingis. Like, yeah. what do you want? Like, 
And I'm looking at him like, what? How am I supposed to adjust? Like, do you want me to go out there and guard him? He's like, I don't want you to go out there and guard him because you're gonna blow, he gonna blow by you. Like, <laughs> it's like, it's just, it's Porzingis. Like, <laughs> hey, listen, and he having one hell of a year right now. Yeah, that he people sleep. He nice. Yeah, yeah. like he, yeah, nice. He is. He shoot. If you small, then he's gonna shoot over you. Like, you, you got slow feet. He's gonna go around you. Kind of similar to me in some facets, but like that's kind of how I think. Like, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, he's he's tall. What was, the, what was your breakout game? Your game was like, oh yeah, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm here. Probably against Brooklyn, my rookie year. I hit like, I shot 15 threes, made like eight of them. Wait a minute. I think was I on that team? I think you were. Kyrie and James was hurt. Oh no, hell no, I wasn't on that team. Now. Oh no, you... I could. I never played with James. Right. So I know James was hurt. Kyrie was hurt. Actually, I don't I honestly don't know if James was there. I don't but think I, James was Ky- there. Bro. Kyrie was hurt. Kyrie didn't play. So you went to the league what year? I was 18, 18 19. 19. I was still with BK, bro. Yes, yeah, so I hit, I hit like I shot 15 3. I hit eight of them. That's when like. Why the f do I think I remember that? I think if we played a clip, I'm in the clips. Probably. Like I <laughs> Nah, I don't know. I don't know if you're in the clips, but. No, 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 no. I definitely I, I wasn't know. playing. I was not playing, but I was definitely on the sideline. Like, what the f- is going on? Yeah, I just remember that. I, I, in Minnesota? Yeah. It was in Minnesota. DeAndre Jordan was on the team. Yep. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> KD did not play. <laughs> yeah. KD wasn't playing there. Mm-hmm. I think Kyrie was hurt. Yeah. I was on that team one night. I don't, I, maybe. I we, we'll get the info later. We'll get the info later. I think I remember that shit, bro. I think, damn, I was a part of the breakout game. You was going crazy, bro. I think yeah. that's like, oh, yeah, this fucking Dodger is a fucking problem. Yeah, I think that was that was, that was was the one for sure. And then, like, you start dunking shit? Yeah. Okay. And then, like, I'm getting, like, Cove telling me, keep shooting. Like, everybody yeah. telling me, keep shooting. So I'm, I'm going to keep right. shooting. True. Like. And bro, the, the part is, and I know people tell you this shit all the time. You have a set shot like nobody f- ever ever seen. Like, mm-hmm. you don't jump. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like you're about to shoot that mother f- every time, and then if you do jump, you on that rim. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So you pretty you, much. It, it's it's crazy, bro. It is it it's a it's a crazy dynamic at that point. So once you get to your end of your rookie year. What 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 is your thought process now? What 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 is what are the wolves asking for you at this point? Um, just to be consistent, mm. uh, stay stay. You know, they just at this point, like I'm just listening to, like, listen to my agent. Excuse me, I'm listening to the team. Mm-hmm. Basically, like the message from both sides was just stay consistent and. Just keep growing from, yeah. you know, whatever the season that I had. You never want to regress. You always want to progress. Yeah. So um they were just saying, like, you just, you did know. Did you stay in Minnesota? I I did. So what's crazy is I think COVID happened. Yeah. COVID happened. Yeah. So that so what they were telling me was nobody's leaving. Okay. Nobody, everybody's here still. Mind you, I'm still a rookie deal. So yeah. I'm like, I ain't about to just be PJing yeah. out. So exactly. like I'm like, I'm here. Um, and then uh, I think the George Floyd thing happened. So now I'm really like I'm they they're telling me not to leave because it's like it's too it's dangerous. We don't want you to so now I'm just in Minnesota literally from like from the end of the from when the season ended to maybe like my first time leaving was like to be August first. And I left August first because it was my like my birthday was coming up. Mm-hmm. So um I was like, I'm just not staying here yeah. for my birthday in Minnesota by myself. Like, exactly. And like, I'm here the whole, the whole time by myself. Me and my friend, I mean, actually, uh, he came into town and and then my other friend, he had left. He had to go handle whatever he had to handle. My other friend, Dion, came and I just bought a dog. Like, I was just really just doing stuff. <laughs> like, I'm just doing stuff. Because it's like, I was, it's at a point where I was just bored. Like, yep. I was in the crib. I was either in the crib or at the gym just that whole summer. Mm-hmm. So in Minnesota. It's best time I, to get a dog yeah. at that point. It's just, and then when he had my friend Dion had to leave, it was just me and Nova. Mm. But like, I'm just, I'm just chilling. Me and her, just, working on your game. Yeah, so that's tough. That's tough. Let's go ahead and get. Let's go ahead and skip to the part where y'all have a great season. Mm. Y'all have a great season. You win the playing tournament. Mm-hmm. 
You would have thought you won those championships. Right. <laughs> Let's just address that. What I get it. I think it was just a big moment for Pat. Yeah, I was about to say, like. It was a huge moment for him. Yeah. Rightfully so. I right. think that's yeah. what people don't understand. Yeah, exactly. Like, because of what happened there, he thought yeah. he should have still been there. Mm-hmm. 100%. Like, he, okay. I think, yeah, like, if you know, you know. Like, outside, outside work looking in, they don't understand, like you said. But, like, again, it's a playing game. He's he's the most competitive person. Barking, that, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's competitive. He want to compete. Like, he's going to let you know that he's there. Mm-hmm. Like. Then it's against the Clippers. Yep. Then it's like, okay, I'm with a team that's re- like it's kind of building in a way. And, so he like, made, and he told y'all y'all going to. You know what I'm saying like he trying to prove he got something to prove basically. Like mm-hmm. so, like I think that was huge for him. And then like you know, Ant, him taking the stuff that he's taking. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and it was just like a growth thing for us, but like for Pat, like you said, it was really like it was it meant something for him for sure. And I think from what I took from that was just like, I think I, I took another level of toughness to. And not shying away from the grind, basically, or not the grind, but I can't really find the word for it. But like, I'm not shying away from the moment. Yeah, I think sure. that was a huge game. Like that was because that was your first playoff. Yeah, like that was my first playoff. That was my first like. At that point, I was actually like in the rotation. Like, like I'm like, mm-hmm. all right, this is like and you got to lock the all. You got to lock in. Like you have to lock in. You get this. You have to look at. You have the playbook that's like this thick. Like you got to like. <sighs> You, like you need gotta, to know everything, everything about like, that other team. Like, literally, like, everything. And there should like, be no surprises. At all. So it was just, like, for me, it was just, like, gross. Like, mm-hmm. all right. I think I unlocked another level of, you know, staying in the, the mental toughness and staying mm-hmm. with the, for sure. the grind and grit. For sure. I think it was, what would you say that year as far as, because I'm, I would go ahead and say it. Y'all were better than Memphis. Mm-hmm. Y'all should have won that series. Yeah. Y'all smoked that shit. Yeah. What 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 did that year teach your team as a unit? I think I think at that point we kind of realized like, oh, it's like, do we really want to? Do we want to really want to win? Mm-hmm. Like, did everybody really want to win? It was more so just like, was we just hooping or we wanted to win for real? Like again, that was still my first experience with playoffs as well. So like, I don't really know what's going on, but I know what's going on. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, it was just like, I think it was more so just like, do we really want to win? Mm-hmm. I think um, having that moment, whatever the case may be, I think going into the next year, uh, we we made, to another, we made it to another level um, where it's mm-hmm. though we like, we showed that like, we do want to win and we're not shying away from mm-hmm. what they call the smoke. Yeah. So I think, that was just like, I think it was just a questionable uh, yeah. playoffs for us. So they, do we really want to win? And I think it's just going back to think about the the team y'all had. You got Ant first playoffs, mm-hmm. you first playoffs. Right. Cat, he's been there, but you know what I'm saying. Like he, he's still yeah. somewhat new to it. He, he's yeah. not there consistently. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got D'Lo, he's been there one other time. Yeah. Um, Jaden's never been there. Jaden never been there. Uh, Pat is the like guy. really the only person that was Pat. You know what I'm saying? Like so, y'all all learn at the same time, and I think it was more of like Pat gave y'all the intensity mm-hmm. that y- y'all knew y'all had to play it. But I guess y'all were learning like, yeah, you can have a lead, but you got to go, go still yeah. go win the game. Like you see, what I'm saying, yeah, and that's kind of something that like. I use, I, I tell uh, my teammates now, like, kind of jokingly about it, like, but it's kind of something that I learned from that moment. But, like, you know, me coming off the bench, so, like, boom, I'm going into the game. We got the lead, got to maintain the lead. If we don't have the lead, got to go get the lead. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So either way, I got to play it this this level. Gotta get them, so, gotta like, get I kind of, like, learned that from, learned that from that scenario. Yeah, experience. Yeah. And, and the thing is, bro, it's like, I think the I think Minnesota's done a very good job of keeping a good core mm-hmm. together that has been through that experience. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause like me and you talked about before we started the pause, like, yeah, maybe y'all haven't played the highest caliber of teams. Right. But y'all not losing in them damn teams. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like those are easily some games that you could just drop off because you like, it is all right, like, we're supposed to beat them. Yeah. Let's like, just Let's just go out there and see what happens. Nah, bro, we're gonna really smack, smack mm-hmm. these motherfuckers. 
motherfuckers and just get them up yeah. out of here. Yeah. And that's a different, that's the maturity piece. You know what I'm saying? That that you can you could tell it's a different Minnesota team than yeah. y'all have been in the past. 100%. Just just from y'all mentality and like looking at the box scores, y'all not even y'all. Y'all beating teams. Yeah. And like, it's not close. And I think that's the difference between y'all. What is just talking about some of your teammates, talk about the the step. And now that you added Rudy, especially let's talk about that for a second. Y'all make a trade for Rudy Gobert. Mm -hmm. You're already there. You're like, I know you at first, you're like, what the f Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And now that he's there, understanding like, that's an anchor. Yeah. You know um, what I'm saying? Like, okay, you can drive past me, but you can go deal with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, like, I think, which was crazy, because it was like, that's my contract summer. Mm -hmm. Or not my contract, but it was my uh, extension summer. Yeah. And it was just like, and so the draft is going on. I'm like, okay, we drafted big. He's going to be a rookie. You know what I'm saying? So it's like not that big of a deal. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But then like, so we draft Kester Walker. So I'm like, all right, cool. But then they trade him. But I ain't know to where. Like, I'm I'm, just, I'm looking at ESPN. You know what I'm saying like, so I ain't know to where. And um, I just don't, like, I'm not really like, I'm, I watched the draft, but like after the draft, I wasn't really like too engaged with it just because it was like, all right, I see what we got. Dude. Let's work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like, after the draft, whatever, then my agent's like, you guys got Rudy Gobert, but you're not in the trade. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right. So, like, I'm like, all right. I'm going to have to fight my way into rotation. Like, I'm kind of thinking about this already before. This is summertime. Like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of thinking about this before the season starts. So, mm. I'm like, all right. Back to square one. I'm going to have to fight. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the season goes on, or we start the season or whatever. Like, I'm not in rotation for, like, the first seven games. I'm like, dang, like, it's like, is you gonna, are you going to fold or are you going to, like, do something about it? Like, and that's just, like, that shit is, that's, there's no gray area with me. Like, it's just like, all right, are we going to be going to lock in or are we going to? And this is, this is where I talk about I love this pod because what we talked about at the very beginning, bro. Yeah. You were built yeah. for this. Yeah. The Lord ain't gonna put you in that situation 100%. if you can't handle it. Yeah. He know he like, nah, this is only gonna make you better. Yeah. It's gonna bring out a bigger dog. Exactly. You see like, what I'm saying? And that's all it did. Yeah. It kept you, it kept a chip on your shoulder mm -hmm. because your first initial thought, oh, that's a rookie. Yeah. He gonna have his time. Yeah. Now, oh nah, it's Rudy Gobert. Mm -hmm. You gotta still stay with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it and it's kicking the ass. Like, come on, bro. And it's crazy because we talk about the world being full circle, but it's like. Now I, I get a chance to be who I've been my whole life. I played four. I've, I was never really a true big. You know what I'm saying? So like now I'm like, they're telling me like, you got to be able to guard. You got to be able to space the floor. You got to be able to do things that, you know, a, a traditional five doesn't do. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, bet. Like I just yeah. had to get comfortable with it at this level. Yes. So in the beginning. you've been playing five. Yeah. Up until. Until then. that point. So yep. I'm, I'm back up five at that point. So like, all right, that's easy. Like. I'm thinking about it now from a, a grand scheme of thing. I'm like, all right, that's easy. Like, that's just me being me. Now I'm just getting adjusted to it at this level. I'm guard, having to guard guards instead of switching such scenario instead of being in the high Think drop. Think about it now, bro. Now you that kid back in New Jersey. Exactly, literally. Like that's like that's, it's all that's, full circle. Like you, you you that kid back in New Jersey and got bread. Yeah, and you got paid to be that. Yeah, no, that that that's a blessing, bro. It's crazy. That's like, a blessing to just even think about us and. Beyond happy for you because mm -hmm. now like you're playing with you could just tell you're playing with just pure joy. Yeah. You you out there free. You're you feel you look yeah. comfortable, bro. Yeah. Like you look mad comfortable. You don't have to deal with damn Joe yeah. and B. Literally, no like <laughs> you just <laughs> you gotta deal with <laughs> Tobias. All right. Yeah. Not saying Tobias is not a problem, but exactly Joel is a fing issue. Yeah. Let's go ahead and say that right now. But that that's crazy, bro. I mean, having that, having Rudy is definitely a luxury. Um and just putting you back in your natural position just a yeah. bunch of matchup problems yeah and it makes your value like if this is like I was saying before like if it's a small guard in me I'm going to the post and I again like with me going to the post like Cat can space the floor Rudy he knows how to read spacing if I'm in the post he knows how to read the spacing exactly. where if I got a a, a a big on me not a big but a like like you said Tobias mm -hmm. or someone mm -hmm. kind of got to space the floor. Mm -hmm. 
make reads off um, yeah. you know, other scenarios. And again, Rudy, he um, he knows how to make mm -hmm. reads, and Cat knows how to space the floor as and well. If it's so. you and Cat. You know what I'm saying? Like the just four, cats to five. five. Yeah, exactly. It just makes perfect sense. So. Yeah, that's tough. That is a tough fucking matchup. Jesus. Talk about that other guy, number five. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Now, I've been with him for all whole, four, his whole, whole career. So I've way. seen when he was eating Popeyes after interviews to how he talks about his diet and things of that nature now. Like, he, you could tell, you could just see, like, for me, you always, like, I've, I've, I've been there firsthand. So, like, I see. I've seen the this basketball already. Like I, I've seen that already. But like just his maturity and how he walks and talks and how he, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it, it's just all right. Now he, he coming into what what you think it was? There was a switch that flipped. Um I think just, I think he just wanted to, he 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 wanna be great. Yeah, he like know he, it, yeah, like hundred percent. He know he know he wanted him one. Yeah. Like hundred percent. Like uh, he he walk and talk on most comments I've ever seen anybody in my life. Like And bro, and backs it the fuck uh, literally bro. like and he he not worried about none of that. He gonna go out there and do what he got to do. Like and he don't care who it is at all. Like it was like to see. Like I said before, I have seen the hoops already. You already know he was gonna be what he is. But it's like just the maturity and the the other stuff. Like the, like I always say, the small things are the big things. Like how you eat, um, you know how, how you you know you go about your night or so forth and so on. It's just like just you just see the whole growth uh, mm -hmm. from him. It's just like. For me, it's just like I've been, like I said, I've been there, so I've, it's like, it's not something that you wouldn't say that was gonna happen, but it's just so big of a, yeah. a jump. It's like, dang, like, you, there, there, there's probably, there's probably no shock in y'all start, yeah, right now, no, because he he has he has set the tone, yeah, and you're gonna follow suit in your start, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, even from the summer. The way he was playing with USA, I was took like, over. "Oh, he's yeah, he took over." He 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 he. he it, I don't know what the hell it was. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know if it's like he just stopped eating. I, I seen him off eating fried chicken the other day on a interview, yeah. but that was in the summer. But summer, who cares? Yeah. But dog, he's a monster. Yeah, like, and he's the leader now. Yeah, and like. Is he, he a lead literally, by example or is he vocal now? Both. Like, really? He it's literally, like, literally takes over. Like, mm -hmm. not that I'm going to do it. Like, That's he tough. literally takes over. Like, you need it. You need an extra. Oh, Mike need to go out real quick. Cause Mike in year 17. Mike need to go. All right, bet. I'm stepping up. I'm going to do it. Like, he like he literally takes over. And you can see, like, mm -hmm. from year one to year, what, four or five now? Or four. This is like, damn, like, I, I watched this from. Mm -hmm. What he used you to be it from the beginning. Yeah, like so. It's just like it's crazy. And and, and to think about y'all really still got a young core, bro. Yeah, technically, like we like he's in year four. Jada's in year four. Rudy's I'm in year five. Old. Yeah, Rudy's only like thirty. <laughs> Cats, what twenty? Cats, my age, twenty eight. Yeah, like like y'all still got yeah. And and talk talk. Hey, that motherfucker, Jaden McDaniel's. Yeah. Sleeper, yeah, he's an issue. Yeah, that's my dog. As tall, hey, listen, I'll never forget this. And we can play the clip. Last year, we we were uh, we played y'all, and um, y'all was smacking us by like twenty. We came back. Ant had Kai, Jaden oh, had yeah. uh, Luca. Luca. Yeah, they was playing two on two at the front. It literally, the like, top of the key. literally, it was, it was them two, two, like, on two. two on two, literally. Like. And they were sitting <laughs> down. And I was sitting there in the corner like, oh, shit, we might not even get a shot. Mm -hmm. Then Kai passed me the damn ball. We down three. I'm cutting to the basket and we're trying to rebound. He mm -hmm. passed me the ball. People cussing me out on Twitter. What the fuck are y'all doing? <laughs> I'm like, it ain't even my fault. He should have shot the You're shit. Right. But nah, bro, those two, those are those are some good, good pieces to have as far as like you got your stuff. Your star and Cats always all, already was a star, mm -hmm. and him getting into form and continue to dominate. That's just gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be, y'all got a special squad, bro. And like people, like Jaden, quiet. Like he don't really Super like he don't quiet. speak unless he knows you. Like you, mm -hmm. so like like if he speaks, then like he comfortable. But like I'm around him like a lot because that's like. He the person I'm gonna go to the store with. We in the new city. Like we yeah. going to one of these stores or whatever. Cause Both like, quiet. Yeah, like yeah. 
So like, like, so if you don't know him, you don't know like what he brings to the table. You don't know how he is. You don't know how like, like it's just like you got to know him for you to understand him. Like, now that I think about it, y'all really got a team full of that. Yeah, just a quiet. Y'all just got a bunch of dogs. Yeah, bro. like, like you got uh, Kyle. He OG for real, like OG, like Kyle, like dog, like he Kyle bringing back old school, like. Hey, listen, Kyle, be like he gets it done, though, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, like Kyle, like he gets the scenarios where, like, why y'all always on your phone? Like, let's just chill, <laughs> like, <laughs> like and that's how Kyle is, like, yeah. he real live, like OG, like where everybody put their phone. All right, man, let's lock yeah, in, yeah, yeah. let's, let's, let's chill, talk to each yeah, other like since we all in the room, like, and that's kind of like you need that type of stuff, though. For like, sure, you need like. Because you understand the next person so much better by like mm-hmm. just, you know, kind of having that conversation. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. So like I think that's I think that's tough because I can I can see it in the team that y'all have. Y'all been together for a while. I think team camaraderie is a big thing. Yeah. Like people talk about the Warriors all the time, but the reason they are who they were is because they were so connected. Yeah. They were so connected as a team. LeBron was has just always been the best at connecting his team, mm-hmm. the best and the quickest than anybody else. And he shows that he believes in them. For exactly. instance, the Cam, you know, this stuff with Cam. And that's what I see in Ant, bro. Yeah. 100%. He instills confidence in yeah. every single one of y'all to make mm-hmm. y'all think he y'all just like him. Yeah. And got just as much to tell him. Yeah. He know he the dog or the goat, the one that's gonna finish the game. 100 percent But he 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 instills that in y'all, and that's big time, bro. Do you get the best out of Everybody in there, mm-hmm. like, all right, you got swag, I got swag. Like, that's, and it, with him, it's just, like, it just happened to be with him, but it's, like, the swag he walked with, like, yeah. all right, bet, that's, that's what we is, like, for sure. Me, so. for sure, for sure, that's tough, that's tough. I mean, listen, I give y'all kudos, y'all keep doing y'all thing, I think y'all, mm-hmm. y'all gonna have a special year. For sure. Y'all gonna have a real special year. I appreciate you coming on, um, it's been an unbelievable pod. We definitely got, I gotta ask you a couple questions. Mm-hmm. Before we end, I'm not gonna ask him to look a cop hot, uh, shave hot. We 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 scrapped that one. You have me f-ed up. Give a, f- I don't. Who? I don't care. Name my class. Miles Turner, Cliff Alexander, Tyus Jones, D'Angelo. The only. And no disrespect, but Zion changes at all this shit. Like, what's crazy is, like, oh, now nah, that's the class ahead of me. Yeah. Now nah, I'm 18. 18. That's the class right See, ahead of me. There you go, us. bro. Now you out here fucking around lying. <laughs> I told y'all, hung a rookie sometimes, bro. He be acting <laughs> like a rookie. He got to do his research. Nah, but Zion came out of nowhere. That like, was nuts. Like out of nowhere, like the last two junior senior year, number one, like <laughs> like it was crazy. Like, After a while, like it had to be like a situation where like okay, he's gonna have number one. Yeah, like it was just like, but I don't think he was ranked to number one. Like all jokes aside, <laughs> I don't remember he one skipped. time. Like I don't remember seeing. Like, I I was ranked as a junkie. Like I'm looking in the ranks. Yeah. Like, I need to see where my man's at. I need to see where I'm at. Like, like kid you not, I don't. I, I think I've never seen him. Did ain't just number one. I don't think you can, bro. <laughs> I don't think you could. I think if you did, you were an idiot. Yeah, like I mean, clearly he was the most dominating force we have seen. Yeah, like and when he went to Duke, bro, he mm-hmm. was murdering. Yeah, bro. like that's my dog too. Like, I guess it was crazy. Like, I ain't gonna say he came out of nowhere because I've always played against him in like All Star games and stuff. But it was just like. He wasn't to he that wasn't, level? Yeah, like, it wasn't, really? no. Like, it was just, like. Yeah, like, dunk here and there? Yeah, like, it wasn't, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not that nobody knew who he was, but, he, you like, it wasn't, like, like it wasn't wow. Like, got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, got you. So, like, but it was, like, it would be, like, all American games where it was, like, three of us. Like, it wasn't not, it wasn't, how do I explain it? Like, it wasn't the biggest all American games that, at that time, but it yeah. was just, like, it would be, like, me, Zion, and. Somebody else, but like everybody else, it's not mediocre. But like, I, I they can't weren't like, HR level. You know what I'm saying? They so like, HR, yeah. So um, it would be stuff like that. You'll see him at, and now you see him at McDonald's America. Yeah. Like, it was like, what the? <laughs> fuck? I didn't see him from sophomore year to 
or freshman year to out of nowhere, senior year is just like number one. It's like and I see you see why like people be like he's doing it against no he's doing it against everybody like so yeah. Yeah. I, I, he he definitely backed it up. Shit, that's a, hey, listen. He takes that class to another level. I'm gonna yeah. tell you that right now. So, got a couple questions for you. First question: Which Kobe would you take, eight or twenty-four? Which was what we say better? I wouldn't say it's obvious. Eight was the issue. I mean, he got, I mean, eight won how many in a row? Okay. I would only say 24 because I was able to see 24. I wasn't Understood. around for eight like that. You know Understood. what I'm saying? So like, I was able to watch 24 on okay. TV. Okay, okay. Better question for you since 20, well, which bronze were they? Mm-hmm. No, 2012, Brown, when he beat OKC. Yeah, after they lost the Dallas series the next year, which Brown are you taking? I might take... You said, what was the first one? 18, Brian. They lost, they lost, they lost to uh, the Warriors. They got swept, but they were still about to give them up the finals MVP because he was cooking that. He was... Was that a mustache, Brian? That's when he ended yeah, the Yeah, I like that, bro. I like that, bro. <laughs> Listen, I like that, bro. That bro was I like that, bro. nuts, bro. Yeah, he was going crazy. He was going nuts. You know what's crazy? Like, I ain't going to say, like, KD was always my favorite player growing up. Yeah. But, like, he got the dunk on um, Rickage. That's, like, my favorite, like. Oh, that was nuts. That was my favorite, like In Portland. Yeah, like that's my favorite, like LeBron. Who the hell did you, you punch on somebody last year? Was it last year? Was, Where's your most iconic dunk you have? You know what it is. Nah, I got. I ain't gonna lie. Like I got it. No, you you have one down the bro. It was at the crib. It was in Minnesota, and it was. I want to say you were going left baseline. Oh, uh, Warriors. Wasn't it for game? Yeah, that was a for game, but it wasn't like on nobody. I, I can, it was against the Warriors. Yeah, I, I got an offensive. That was my own shot. I got my own shot rebound. Yes, play the clip. He yeah. got his all. I remember watching on the league. Yeah. Man. He got his offensive rebound, and I guess he was mad at the rim or something, and, and about broke his damn hand. That's some shit. Oh no, nah, I broke my hand. I was against the Suns. <laughs> I be trying to like really like <laughs> right. He has I don't know what it is in the game. He has some anger management problems. He's over here trying to punch shit, bro. Like I really like, and that's my 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 homies used to say like they used to like you dunk too hard. Like you got to chill out. Like, <laughs> and they weren't even on no like they're like bro, you can hurt yourself. Like yes. that's what they were on. Yes. Like, what was your best dunk in your opinion? Um, I don't want to start no issues, but like you don't care. I'm trying to think, I don't even remember. His name, but even in the buck, like there's not even no funny stuff. But like it was against Sacramento. Uh, uh, it was last year and the year before that. It was the same person. You got him twice. Yeah, we'll find it. In Sacramento. <laughs> we'll no, 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 no. The line right was with like Washington or some shit. But at that time, he was with Sacramento. But it was, no, it wasn't him. It was a big. Alex Lynn? Alex Lynn. You yeah. got him twice? Yeah. Alex Lynn, tall as shit, too. Yeah. That's impressive. I'm gonna, hey, play the clip. I'm going to have to watch the damn pod to see that shit. I'm going to look. But like, the, the second time was kind of like you said before, like, I was looking for the content. Yes. Like, <laughs> it was you unnecessary. You didn't have to do that. Like, nah, it was unnecessary. Like, if didn't you watch it, it, like, it was, it was unnecessary. do the shit. Hey, respect, bro. Respect. Last question, and this is a very contra controversial debate between amongst us and a lot of people. Does Kawhi Leonard deserve a statue with the Toronto Raptors? I mean, he came in and won that shit, so like. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, won, he literally came there, right, I'm going to go here, I'm going to win, and then I'm going <laughs> to carry on. <laughs> 
hundred percent, a hundred percent. But it's like it's different there. It's different yeah, with like, Toronto, bro. I know. I, I, I look. I, I just said it's different. I, I think it's different. I feel like he did something great for a great city that yeah. they will never forget. You're yeah. not going to ever forget Kawhi Leonard. Like, so why not cherish what he came and did for your city? Like literally, like one year, this film. Like I'm going to win the ring, and then I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> And it was the, one of the biggest days in yeah. Toronto history. Yeah, like, you can't, you can't not, like, like you said, you got to give him his, his credit. Like, like, you're not going to, you're going to, okay, your retired jersey, what did he do? Everyone has a retired jersey. Yeah. Everyone can get a retired jersey. <sighs> Bro, how many retired jerseys does the damn Boston Celtics have? Oh, well, then I'll give him that. But then you then you don't give they they have a lot of people that can give retired jerseys. Tomorrow, you know. But then that puts but and no disrespect to DeMar, that puts Kawhi's not in DeMar's field. Because Kawhi won a champ. Like it speaks for itself. I, like it do, but like I, I DeMar mean, really DeMar. DeMar nice, but it's like he like it speaks I, for itself. The only person I would say that can possibly is Kyle Lowry. But then, yeah. But then you get into like, why time? Kawhi, is does Kyle even get there without Kawhi? Yeah. No, that's a strong debate. I'm mean, hey Kawhi, get on the pod, man. We can talk about it. Shit, I'm trying to get you a statue. But is do they does Utah have a championship? No. What do you think? Do they deserve a statue? That's what I was saying. Now you're getting into time. Yeah. <laughs> you I, yeah, because then, like, let's just say, like, I've been with Minnesota for five years. Let's just say 10, whatever. I'm going to want, like, a little, at least a jersey. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, so I guess. I feel that. I feel that. It's a great debate, in my opinion. But Nas, nice, man, hey, look, bro, I appreciate it. It's been an unbelievable part. I'm looking forward to watching you the rest of the season. Uh, maybe we might be teammates soon. Talk to the GM or some shit. Fuck, Appreciate you know that, bro. Appreciate you having me, though. <laughs> sure. Nah, it's been dope, bro. Uh, like I said, healthy rest of the year. Um, keep you, doing bro. your thing, bro. And um, definitely going to keep watching. But y'all already know what to do. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow us on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And like I said, we're going to doing bigger and better things. We got Nas Reed on here today, bro. Come on, now. Appreciate you, bro. Y'all already know what to do. Peace. Yeah. All right, let's get this flick right quick. I know you got a game tomorrow, my guy.